After investing heavily in free agency, Tribe Gaming built an S-tier roster and ranked second in the regular season, bringing home their ticket to the World Finals. However, they failed to defeat Team Queso and ended up with a bronze medal in the CRL West fall season. After three tough seasons in CRL West, Tribe Gaming rebuilt from the ground up, and this international team asserted their dominance quite a bit in this fall season. They added in four knockout players, as well as Sean Kim, their new coach. Azilius, a veteran who has been in CRL since its inception, and he gained invaluable experience with Team Liquid and Team Queso. Once he joined Tribe Gaming in the fall, he became a 2v2 specialist. Paired with Buffmack, they form a fearsome duo in the arena, showing exceptional team chemistry and an incredible record of 10 wins and 5 losses as a duo. Buffmack. A very talented head-to-head -head player from the UK, whether he's explosive getting sweeps in the King of the Hill, or playing besides Azilis in the 2v2. He also scored 7 wins and 4 losses in King of the Hill. As one of Tribe Gaming's poor solo players, Buffmack is ready to impress the world once again. TNT The Korean genius who led OGN Entis to a 2019 CRL World Finals decided to try his talents out in the West. As Tribe Gaming starting King of the Hill Vanguard, TNT achieved 10 of the team's 17 wins in the set, starting off and closing out with a bang, picking up two clean sweeps over his opponents. In last year's World Finals, TNT's team OGN Entis was eliminated in the quarterfinals. Now he's ready to take home the gold in Shanghai. Jupiter King, the solo savant of Tribe Gaming. In the spring season, Jupiter proved his 1v1 dominance with four wins and one loss in sets. In the fall season, the more mature Jupiter King achieved four wins and one loss in 1v1 and five wins and two losses in King of the Hill, coming in second place across the league with a solo win rate of 68%. Coach Sean Kim always trusts Jupiter King to be the last defender in the King of the Hill set. With the solid 2v2 duo of Buffmack and Azilius, and with three solo specialists in TNT, Jupiter King, and Buffmack once again, Tribe Gaming is a well-rounded force to be reckoned with. Although they did quite well in both regular seasons this year, they failed to keep their momentum going during the BO5 sets in playoffs. Match mentality may be their biggest obstacle on the road to victory in their debut at the CRL World Finals. Never underestimate the potential of this international team. Both Mac and Azilis can cover the Western play style, while TNT and Jupiter King know the Asian players well. Not to mention their coach, who brings his knowledge of the international competition to the table. With an in-depth understanding of their opponents, Tribe Gaming is well prepared for their show at the World Finals. CRL World Finals live on December 5th and 6th. See you in the arena.